What's up everybody and welcome back. Today we're gonna to go on a little bit of an adventure and it's something that's come up as a bit of a curiosity for many people, for myself included, and I thought maybe we could just try to quantify some of it and, uh, you know, play around. So follow me at some points of this, it might seem a little bit silly, but I think we should figure out how much is your grass really worth? just cut grass looks like laid out. Actually cut quite a bit out from underneath this trampoline just using scissors because I actually thought it was going to be considerably less than what it turned out to be. Big question that a lot of people have is what is the actual nutrient removal of grass, especially if we're going to do it this way. This grass was super long down underneath. It hasn't been mowed or fed yet this season, obviously because this is all going to get buried. So. It seemed like a good opportunity to find out what exactly the soil is doing, giving to this grass, how much it's taking out. So if I do this and let it dry, then I can take it, send it into a lab, get an actual nutrient analysis, and we can see what we're really looking like. It should be a fun experiment. All right, so it's been like uh, six or seven hours since I cut all that grass out, and this is what it's dried down to. Not quite all the way out yet, but as soon as it's a little bit more, it's getting crispy, but it's not yet breaking. I need to give it a little bit more and then I'm gonna weigh it again, see how much water actually came out of that pound. And then uh, we're gonna send her off to the lab, see what it says. So let's talk a touch about how I'm gonna do this. So it's actually gonna be pretty simple. I had already cut parts of my grass out. I sent that into a lab. I checked to see how much moisture was going to come out of it before it was sent in. It lost about 80, 85% of its total weight. And then the dry weights were tested for nutrients. So today what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go over, measure off a thousand square feet next door. I'm gonna take all that grass, one inch off of that grass. I've already set the mower deck to two inches. The grass is currently at a height of three. We're gonna take that down to a thousand square feet, measure out that weight, take the water weight out of it, and calculate the total nutrients that could, should, or are likely in there. So part of this and where this whole video falls apart, right on substance and right off the bat, is that I tested my lawn, not the one that I'm cutting. So we're gonna kinda of have to just play a game of speculation, have a little fun with it, and just sort of see what's happening. So I wanna add a couple other things here just so everybody's aware and is on the same page about the differences in the way the lawns have been taken care of over the past number of years. Now for those of you that have been following me for a while, you know that I kept my grass very short and I fed it a very minimal diet. It only got around one and a quarter pounds of nitrogen a year maximum. And I actually tried to press that lower and lower. And over five years, it received no more than about a third pound of phosphorus and no more than about a quarter pound, and this is all per thousand, over a total of five years per thousand, about a quarter pound of potassium. Now, my soil is naturally high in potassium. 
It's got a relatively high amount of phosphorus. The pH is relatively high. I've just been focusing more on a little bit of a soil first type of program. And I've always mulched my clippings and kept everything in place. Really paid attention to how I mowed, how I watered, and took care of the lawn overall. The lawn behind me was new to this program last year. So it just got started on a similar type of program, getting only about a pound and a quarter last year. Very similar thing between my lawn and this one. Well, I don't have the data for this lawn. I've never done a soil test for this lawn. I've just been treating it exactly as I've treated mine and it's doing extremely well. So again, we kind of have to drift into the realm of speculation, but I think we can have some fun with it and just see the way things look. Okay, so the goal here is to maintain the one third rule of cutting. That's why I'm gonna cut this down to two inches because the grass is three inches right now. So that's where we're starting. I've got a thousand square feet marked off back here. I'm gonna go ahead and mow the thing out, bag it, weigh it, and see where we end up. Okay, so right now my mower is leaving behind a pretty good amount of grass, so I'm gonna go back over it, make sure that I can pick up everything possible because there's some points in here that were just thicker and a little bit taller than others. So I'm gonna run over it again. I still have to do this section right down here to get my full thousand square feet, which is pretty much this right here to just over here uh, on this line. So there's not really a whole lot else to do, but I'm gonna have to come back over it just to make sure I get everything collected that I possibly can in order to get a really good look at what we're trying to do here. So I'm gonna keep on mowing. Okay, so the grass has been double cut. I went back through it to clean up as much as possible. There may still be a little bit laying around, but honestly, I can't, uh, I can't get 100% of it. So, you know, we'll call that normal and average. So now, it's time to go weigh these wet clippings. I already put the empty bag out on my little scale inside the shop. That thing weighs just a tick over four pounds. So, I know what I gotta do. So we're gonna go weigh this thing and then calculate some removal points. Okay, so I had to jump back inside because the wind started blowing like crazy, as it does every day here in high wind estates. But, here's what we got. Did a thousand square feet of turf over there, cut it down, took an inch out of it, took it back inside, weighed it, what did I get? 11.6 pounds. Now, that bag weighs out at about 4.06 pounds, so overall our net was about seven and a half pounds of freshly watered cut grass. So that's kind of cool. Now, if we take out our handy dandy little calculators and we just assume all things are equal, and again, I've already said, I can't make it all equal because I did the initial test on my lawn, then I'm going and doing somebody else's. But you can presume that you're still gonna get about the same amount of water loss, 80 to 85%. So that's, that's kind of what we're gonna go for here, just to play with the same numbers. Let's figure that out. If we have seven and a half pounds, right, 7.5, and we go ahead and subtract 80%, 1.5 pounds. So we removed 1.5 pounds of clippings. Now, if I were to take that number right there, this is on a thousand square feet, and again, I were to apply it to my lawn directly and this particular lab result that you're seeing on the screen right now, 
you can see that I actually have sufficient levels of everything and I have high levels of some things. So it's from this whole model that that whole 412 ratio thing is based. Four pounds, one pound, two pound, that is your removal over the course of the season, depending on what your cultural practices are. And again, if you're hauling things away. So that's what we're really going to look at to calculate what the value is of those clippings. So let's look at it like this. Let's say we've got this one and a half pounds and we wanna calculate the removal. So that's dry matter, that's after moisture's out of it. That's what's basically gonna be left if you're leaving it on the ground. You're gonna end up with about 1.5 pounds of dry material. So let's convert that to ounces and go 1.5 times 16. Now let's go ahead and round up on the nitrogen level that you see on my particular chart and give it 5%, which would be high. It's high on the spectrum. Typically it'd be 4% but we'd be going off of 24 ounces times 0.05, and we come up with 1.2 ounces per thousand square feet. So what does that calculate down to? Well, about a 16th of a pound. So when we're looking at this removal rate, if we were gonna go ahead and cut an inch off every single time we mow out of a thousand square feet, again, assuming all things are equal, which they're not. There's a ton of variance in all this. Grass grows at different heights, it's lower, it's drier. There's all these different things. But we're just, we're just making some, you know, presumptions and assumptions here just based on this very small little data field that I've got right here. So I've got 1.2 ounces, and if I mow that, say, once a week, all year long here, maybe I'm going to get mm, 25 mows. Let's go crazy and say 30 mows taking an inch off. That's probably a stretch. I'm pretty certain that's a stretch. So why don't we multiply that times 30? So we go times 30, and we come up with 36 ounces. Let's go ahead and divide that by 16, and what do we get? 2.25 pounds. That's very interesting. That's the amount of takedown that that could get if, again, all of those things were created equal. Now, if I were to lower that and take about 20% out of it to say what average would be at having a 4% nitrogen rate, so, you know, let's, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and minus 20% here, 1.8 pounds of N. That's what your removal rate is given that particular scenario. So there's a lot of different ways to calculate these nitrogen rates and how we're putting things down and what needs to stay in the ground and what doesn't. The grass isn't going to break down very quickly. It takes some time for that to, to really get used up by the soil, to be converted, and you're not going to get 100% of it. It's just like when you fertilize. When you fertilize, you're not getting 100% of your fertilizer. You're giving some to the soil life, you're losing some to the atmosphere, and you're giving some to the turf. And that might break down into like a 30, 30, 40, or a 20, 30, 50. There's, there's all of these different ways where it might break down depending on the particular conditions. When you consider this, clipping, sort of mulching, fertilizer, green waste, that type of thing, are you going to get 100% of that benefit back? No, you still have the same thing. You're gonna feed some soil life, you are going to leave some additional carbon behind, which is great because the remaining balance of all of this after the water is gone is carbon material going down into the ground. So that's great. If I calculated everything that was listed inside of my soil test, really I'm only looking at about seven to seven and a half percent of the total mass and weight is actually nutrients that could be potentially viable. Otherwise, I'm leaving behind carbon. So I've got 93% of that material that is actually going to be just down and working and building organic matter and providing a lot of extra benefit. So taking things like this into effect, you can sort of change and modify how you're feeding your grass, how much you really need to put down, and how you can end up getting a great result like I have. Since I've only been doing about 1.25 pounds per thousand square feet annually, not every time, I need to just make sure that everybody understands that. Annual nitrogen rate, 1.25 pounds on my lawn when I was keeping it short, when I was mulching my clippings and doing everything else and never starving that out, as you can see, my lawn had not had fertilizer on it since September of last year. This is the result of it coming into the season with nothing on it in June. We are, what, eight months, nine months since the last feeding, and the grass is still holding strong because of that healthy soil structure. I started this out by saying, how much is your lawn worth? Well, if we could equate it down to like that, feedings. How much are you feeding your soil? How much are you spending on fertilizer? if you're removing your clippings, when you could be getting it back without. So maybe that was a little bit of a lead in. 
I would say it was. Maybe it kind of tricked everybody. I don't know. But this is something fun that you could do yourself and you could have a science experiment. You could go to Ward Labs, you could do their plant test. I believe it's the P2. You send it in, it's $25. You could do a nutrient analysis of your turf, see where everything is lining up. You could calculate your own nutrient removal and adjust your feedings accordingly. How fun would that be? It starts taking responsibility very seriously. So anyway, fun, have fun, play in the lawn, enjoy it. Enjoy maybe the science, enjoy the numbers, enjoy doing all of this stuff, because you know what? It's yours. Go play. I'll talk to you guys real soon. See ya.